Look at us in our Christmas hey. jumpers. <laughs> and you've got big ranges. I've got, I've got little snowmen. Yeah, but look what else I've got. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. I've always wanted one of these. Gold reindeer. Red reindeer. Red reindeer. Gold reindeer. <laughs> Red reindeer. Shall I just keep doing that for messy church? Okay. I've always wanted one of those jumpers. Yeah, very good. Very but you good. made yours, I didn't made you? mine, yes. Yep. I've got little snowmen. I, I did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Red yeah, reindeer, gold reindeer. <laughs> she has to go one better every time. There we go. I don't know. Oh, it's oh. my new Christmas job. Oh. I like it. But you are so clever. Yeah. She's so clever. I wish I could make my own. I could probably knit one, but that's as far as it would go. Yeah, if I started knitting, it would probably be ready in about three Christmases time. There's your challenge. No, three just... years time, and we'll have a homemade knitted jumper. Anyway, anyway, I told you to bring an orange. Have you got one? Yep, I've got an orange. Look, Lovely. there's an orange. Yeah, yep. yep. Got um, mine. I thought mine was quite big, but... <laughs> All right, all you right. had to outdo me, I didn't know, you? Had I to have know. a better jumper, had to have a better orange. I have one as well. We're okay, right. so I've got okay. an orange. Why have I got an orange? I... We've got an orange because it is, I know, they do smell amazing. Yeah. And we're going to cut into them very slightly later, so they will smell amazing. But it is Christingle. Um, why an orange? Well, I'm tell you all about that in a minute. Nice. We're going to eat it. Later. You oh, can okay. eat it later. But there might even be some other things to eat. When we do our <gasps> oh, Christingle. really? So I'll tell you what, why don't we just start making our Christingle? Because we've got the orange. We've got the orange. Now, as you can see, mine's standing up nice and straight. Anne's isn't. So Anne, have you got that knife I told you to have handy? I've right. got a knife. Just trim the bottom so that you've got a base for it to stand on. I made some yesterday and mine was doing exactly what Anne was doing. There you are. There okay. you are. You have a nice steady orange. And you do need a steady one because we are going to put things into okay. it. So I've got an orange. You've got an orange, yeah. Right. And what's that mean? Why have I got right. an orange? Right, okay. Well, if you look at the shape of it, what does an orange remind you of? It's like a big world, a big globe. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. So and the song we're going to sing later talks about God holding the world in his hands so actually we can do that with an orange so this represents the world, the world. that's why we use an orange okay that's good. i have done christingles where i've used something other than an orange and you potentially could use anything as your world but it sort of represents what people think okay. of as a christingle so and we're going to use an orange and it does smell year. christmasy now i've cut the bottom it does okay so i've it got does. my world so that's what else it. right here's four cocktail sticks we got four each one two three Four for you, okay, and four for me. Now, Why just four? be careful with your cocktail sticks because they're a bit sharp. So if you're doing this with younger brothers and sisters, thank you. I'll get it back. I'll get it back. Um, make sure that you're being very careful with them. Okay. Okay. Um, why four? Well. Wow. Four seasons of the year. Okay. And we're going to put them around the world because the world obviously turns and we go through the four seasons. So oh, okay. So spread them out equally around the world. So, so I like and that. that. I'd probably do it a little bit higher so they go like upwards, that. but you could do it sideways. Yeah, okay, you can so. be as creative as you want. So that would be, what are we in at the moment? We're in winter at the moment. So there's one for winter, one for spring, one for summer. And then one for autumn. Brilliant. There's it looks a bit like a strange satellite. Four it? seasons. It does, does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. A little bit like that. But it's not. It's a world and it represents the four seasons. Okay. I've got that. So I've got some. Now these are vegan friendly. So anyone can eat these. I've got some vegan friendly fruit pastels. But to be honest, you could use any sweets or you could use um, raisins if you want to. Um, so why am I putting sweets on my four sticks? Because they represent exactly that, especially the fruit pastels, because they're great, because they have different fruit shapes. And these represent the different fruits that the seasons can give us. Because even in winter, if you look out, there's always the evergreens of things like holly and berries. Maybe we don't eat them, but lots of God's creatures will feed off those um evergreens and berries okay. during this season yeah. and in other countries at different times of the year there'll be different seasons so we have different fruits for the different seasons and again you can put fruit and nuts you can put whatever you want to on here in fact the story i'm going to tell you about christ england how it may have started um actually talks about raisins okay so there we are 
So, so I put a couple on each, is that I right? I think that's about right. I now you so could have... potentially put lots. And you've just eaten one. No. Have not you not? Me. No. No, I haven't eaten one. Do you just love a fruit pastel? I do, mm. but I've avoided it so far. So I did I say, when you said I want to eat my orange. Yeah. So there's even more yummy things on us. Absolutely. So we've got, might want to eat. we've got a world, mm -hmm. we've got four seasons. My breath and is talking because I'm chewing. And we've got fruits, so things of the harvest mm -hmm. and things that the world produces. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to put the lid on the fruit pasta and put them away. So is that it? Is that my no. interesting done? No, oh, no, okay. no, that's not done yet. I've got some red ribbon. Now we're very lucky to have a bit of sticky red ribbon. So let me oh, give okay. you a piece of that. So and I want you to tie this around the outside of the ribbon. What, round the uh, Around the side. Of, that's it, yeah. Sort of around like the there. equator. Yeah, like the equator. But that's not what it represents. Oh, okay. So it doesn't represent the equator. What no, does it, it represent? represents. So I'll put mine on and then I'll show you. So I always think of the red ribbon as being god giving the world a great big hug it's like the arms okay. of jesus wrapping okay. around the world because god gave his only son for the sake of the world yeah and jesus died for the sake of the world okay yeah and therefore you know he shed his blood for us so it's okay. like a red ribbon okay. a big hug of, of god's love around the world okay and that's jesus's blood as well okay. depending on how you want to uh to okay say it. it's looking good then it is isn't it and then finally finally because it's still looking a bit empty i think if you get your knife, you can do this with your fingernail. It does work. I did it yesterday, but these oranges are quite hard. Just make a little um, gap at the top. You might want to wiggle your knife through a little bit. Again, be very careful. Um, and it might be that you just want to, to be with uh, with somebody older if you're using a sharp okay, knife, I've especially wiggled. if you're using uh, this with a younger brother or sister. And pop your candle... Again, it can be. It could be a little birthday candle if that's what you've got. Um, no, into all. Oh, that was a really good push. That there we are. Up. Now, is that looking like a Chris Dingle? It certainly is. Okay, we're done. We're done. Okay, so don't you want to know what the candle's for? Well, it's a candle, so it, it produces. I know. Lights. I know. exactly, exactly. But especially in Advent and Christmas, we think about Jesus Christ as the light of the world. So the oh. crowning glory, when we light it, it lights up the whole world. And it's like the light of Christ. So that is Christ's light right on top of our Advent candle. And we'll light them when we sing, sing our song. song, shall we? Brilliant, absolutely. So there's our Advent candle. Yep. Now, can I tell you a story about how they may have come about? Helen, will you tell us a story about how they may have come Go about? On then. Go, Go on, on then. then. So there was. A vicar, a bit like me or you. Okay. In a church a long, long time ago. Okay. And he had lots of children who came to what would have been Sunday school. That's the equivalent of what now is messy church. Okay. And he said to them, wouldn't it be lovely if you all brought a gift and we could give those to other children who maybe don't have as much as you. So go home and ask your parents if they can buy you something or give you something to bring to church next week. And we can give those to other children. Okay, that sounds really good. Now there was one little boy in the uh, in the Sunday school who really didn't have very much money. He only lived with his mum oh, and they didn't okay. have much money. Mm. And he was really worried because he didn't want to go home and ask his mum if she no. could buy an extra present. So he decided he was going to go home and make one or mm. find something that he could give. And in the fruit bowl when he walked in the door was an orange. Okay. And you know when you haven't got much money, big oranges like this. Oh, yeah, they do cost yeah, money. Absolutely. So he thought, well, I know my mum has given me this orange, so maybe I can give that away. And he thought, well, an orange is all very well, but it doesn't look very exciting. So he went to his mother's sewing box and found a bit of red ribbon, which yeah. he knew she didn't need because it was at the bottom and that was all the, the little the extra, extra bits. bits left over. So he wrapped that around the orange and he thought, well, that's starting to look a little bit more like a present. He still didn't think it looked very much like a gift. So he went to the kitchen, looked for some nice things to eat, and all he could find was a jar of raisin. Okay. Now, again, the Christmas cake had been made, not a big one, mm. but there was a few raisins left. So he got some cocktail sticks from the cupboard, Okay. put some raisins on them, and stuck them, just like we've done on here, mm. with our orange. 
And then he found a small leftover candle and he put that just as we've done in the middle. And you know, he was quite pleased with it. Oh, he was quite pleased, pleased with it. Yeah. And his mum said how beautiful it was. So next Sunday, the day came and he's all excited and he walks to church with his gifts. And when he walks in, guess what happened? What? All the other children laughed at him. Oh. I know. They started to tease him because they'd bought these beautiful boxes all wrapped with pretty ribbons and glossy paper. And he felt really embarrassed and he almost, almost ran out oh again. But the vicar... Mm. He saw what had happened and he called this little boy up and he said to him, that is the most amazing present I have ever seen. The little boy was thinking, I'm not sure about <laughs> this. But the vicar said, you know, because what you've done, he said, is you've brought us the story of God and Jesus in the world. And mm. the little boy said, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. He said, yes, you have. He said, listen, he said, this is the world. This is the world. And this is God. God's love for the world wrapped around in the arms and the blood of Jesus Christ. He said, and of course, he said, we get lots of wonderful gifts from God all year round. And these mean that we have to give thanks. We have to remember to give thanks for those wonderful gifts. Brilliant. And of course, he said, what you've done so cleverly is to top the world with Christ's light, Christ's love for the world, just shining out. And he lit the candle. Light the candles, Anne, light the candles of Anne's advent calendar. There we go. He lit the candles and he turned off all the lights, which we often do when we have a Christingle in church. Mm. And he said, look, he said, Christ's light lights up the whole world. This is the best gift anyone could have brought. Brilliant. Yes. And from that year on, they all made Christingles and they went home and they put them in their windows so everyone could see the lights of Christ. That's great. It's a good story, isn't yeah, it? There absolutely. are other stories, I know, but I like that you one. You like that one. I, I like that one as well. So, we've got our Christingle, we've yeah. got our world, we've got our fruits, we've got the seasons and we've got the light of Christ and the love of God wrapping it round. We're going to sing a song. We are. We? We're going to sing a song now. The song is to the tune of... The holly and the ivy, that one. So it's quite an easy one, I think. And we've got the words here because there are quite a few words, but we're only going to do the chorus at the beginning and then at the end. Because otherwise you'll be sit listening to me and Anne sing for the next... Uh, and that's not fair on anyone. But this does tell the story of the Christine Ball, Okay. if you listen to the words. Okay, so... It's rounded like an orange, the earth on which we stand, and we praise the God who holds it in the hollow of his hand. So, Father, we would thank you for all that you have done and for all that you have given us through the coming of your Son. The candle burning brightly can cheer the darkest now And these candles tell how Jesus came to bring a dark world light The ribbon round the orange reminds us of the cost How the shepherd strong and gentle gave his life to save the lost for seasons with their harvest supply the food we need and the spirit gives a harvest that can make us rich indeed we come with our christingles to tell of jesus birth and we praise the god who blessed us by his coming onto the earth so, Father, we would thank you for all that you have done and for all that you have given us through the coming of your Son. That's what do you think? It's Absolutely. a good song, isn't it's it? Song, it talks yeah. of the ribbon and the fruit and God holding the uh, earth in the oh, palms of his hands. hands. I like that. The hollow of his hands. It's lovely, isn't it? Well, shall we pray? Go and for maybe, it, Anne. Maybe we're holding yes, our hands I'm going to hold the hands. orange in the palm of my hand. Here we are. We're going to hold these and we're just going to say, Dear God, we thank you 
that you did love us enough that you sent Jesus to show us a better way of being. And we pray that this Christmas time you will hold us all in the hollow of your hand. Down. Amen. Amen. Now I'm quite excited because the next time that we do Messy Church, we're going to be in person in St. Colum Church Woo! on the second Saturday of January Ooh. at four o'clock. There we are. We'll be back online at the end of January. Okay. So we're going we're to one be in person, in church, one virtual. Indeed, and we're going to see how that goes. Yeah, absolutely. But if there are any updates and that changes, we'll let you know on the uh, Messy Church in Pidar page. Yeah. So do enjoy this and have a wonderful Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas. Keep safe. And a happy new year. Yeah. And we'll see you in the new year. We will. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.